In this video, we will be solving some word problems involving similar triangles. So, a tree that is 24 feet tall casts a shadow that is 12 feet long. Brad is 6 feet tall. How long is Brad's shadow? So, let's see. Here's the ground. So, okay, we've got a tree... Uh, and that tree is 24 feet tall. Okay, so I'm just going to put a big old 24 right here to represent the height of the tree. Um, now, that tree is casting a shadow that is 12 feet long. Okay, so here is the shadow, and that is 12 feet long. Okay, so um, you can sort of see the triangle that's happening here. All right, I'm just going to roughly do this. Okay, we've got this triangle um, between the shadow and the tree, the 12 and the 24. Okay, um, now we have Brad. And uh, let's see, Brad is six feet tall. All right, so here's Brad. And Brad is also casting a shadow. Okay, so here's the triangle that's being formed. Oh, it's hard to see Brett. Hold on. Let me try to draw my triangle with a thinner line maybe so you can still see Brad. All right, see little triangle? So this side is six uh, because that's how tall Brad is. And we're supposed to be finding this. Okay, now these are going to be similar um, triangles because the sun is shining um, at the same angle for both of these conditions. So this angle, the, ele the angle of elevation um, to the sun is going to be the same for the tree and for Brad. All right, and... Uh, that makes these um, similar, okay? So now, based on that, let's go ahead and figure this out. Well, you could really probably do this with common sense. Um, you know, well, let's just follow through and do it. So let's start with uh, scale factor. I'm going to consider this as being the old triangle and I'll consider this little guy as being the new triangle. So if I want to find the scale factor, um, the scale factor is always going to be the, the new length divided by the old length. Okay, so in this case the new length um, is 6 and the old length is 24. All right, if I reduce this down, it tells me that the scale factor is one-fourth. So everything is going to be one-fourth as big. Um, now, in particular, if I take that scale factor and apply it to the 12 and the x. So one-fourth times the old side should give me the new side. So one-fourth times 12 should equal x. And of course a fourth of 12, that's just 12 divided by 4, so that is 3. So x is 3, and that is the length of Brad's shadow.
Okay, let's keep going. All right, problem number seven. A woman who is 160 centimeters tall stands 360 centimeters from a lamp post at night, as shown. Her shadow from the light is 90 centimeters long, so this would be her shadow. How tall is the lamp post? All right, might as well go ahead and put an X right here because that's what we are trying to find. So hopefully you can see that we have two similar triangles. All right, we have uh, the smaller triangle, which is right here. And you know what, maybe I shouldn't draw it that far away. I think I'm supposed to draw it at this mark right here. So I have one, a small triangle like this. Okay, and then I have a larger triangle that's like this. Boom. 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 All right, so those are my two similar triangles, the little red one and the large green one. Okay, I am going to look at the small triangle as being the old, and I'll look at the big triangle as being the new. You would still get the right answer if you did it the opposite way. That doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, now, I am going to need to keep in mind the total length of this side of the triangle. Okay. The 90 is, the, is one side of the small triangle, but 360 is not the full length of this side of the large triangle. It's just a little space between. So I need to add these up. So if I do 360 plus 90, all right, you could probably do this in your head. That's going to be 450. Okay. So look, I've got corresponding sides now. So the 90 and the 450, those are corresponding sides. And then I've got the 160 and the X. Those are corresponding sides. I'm going to use these corresponding sides to find the scale factor. Okay, so the scale factor is always going to be new divided by old. All right, so that's why the scale factor is going to equal, um, okay, I'm going to use the 450 and the 90 because that's, that's the pair where I know both numbers. So the new I'm taking to be the larger triangle. So that's going to be 450. And the old I'm using the smaller, so that will be over 90. Okay, so that's the same as 45 divided by 9. So this is just going to be 5. All right, so the scale factor is 5. Okay, if it wasn't obvious to you that this was 5, you could have used your calculator. Now, I can use the scale factor to find x. Because if I do my scale factor times an old length, that should give me the new length. So if I take the scale factor, okay, times 160 centimeters, all right, which is the old length, that should equal the new length, which is x. So that's 800. So 800, and these units are all in centimeters. Okay, so the lamp post is 800 centimeters tall. Okay, a horizontal support brace 
shown in bold below, is added to stabilize a wooden roofing truss. The brace is parallel to the 18 foot base of the truss. And the brace divides the left side into a four foot and a six foot section as shown. How long is the support brace? So we're supposed to find this right here. Okay, again, the similar triangles are here and here. All right, the small triangle, okay, I got, I kind of messed up there at the end. I think you get the idea. All right, I've got the small triangle and then the big triangle. All right, I am going to use the small triangle as the old triangle, and I'm going to use the large triangle as the new. All right, before I get too carried away, um, neither one of these numbers represents the length of the large triangle. So I do need to uh, combine these to find the full length of this side of the triangle. And of course that is 10, because six plus four is 10. All right, so now I've got myself some corresponding sides. All right, the left side of the small triangle is four feet, and the left side of the large triangle is 10 feet. Those are corresponding sides. Okay, um, also I have uh, the X and the 18 are corresponding sides. But let's start by finding the scale factor. For the scale factor, we always do new length divided by old length. Okay, so um, looking at the four and the, um, and the 10, so new over old, so 10 over four, and that reduces down to um, five over two. So that's my scale factor. Now if I take the scale factor and I multiply it by an old length, it should give me a new length. So if I take five over two and I multiply it by x, um, which is an old length, um, that should give me the new length, which is 18, okay? Scale factor times old equals the new. So now it's just a matter of solving this equation. Um, the quickest thing to do would be to simply multiply both sides by the reciprocal. So if I were to multiply it by two fifths on both sides. All right, that way these are gonna cancel each other out. and that gets x by itself. So I just need to do 2 fifths times 18. Whoa, that's not the calculator. Let me try that again. Okay, so 2 fifths times 18. Okay, I think I prefer a decimal for this, so 7.2. So 7.2 feet. All right, that would be the length of the new, uh, sorry, the length of the support uh, truss, whatever they call it, the, the brace, the support brace. Okay, looks like we just have one problem left, multiple choice. Jermaine is painting a mountain scene from a postcard that is um, three by five. All right, that's the side of the post, size of the postcard. He wants the painting to be similar to the original postcard. Which of the following could be the dimensions of his canvas? Okay, so his postcard is a uh, three by five. Okay, so for example, three by five. 
and then his canvas. All right, and we've got these possibilities. Okay, so let's say if it was 10 by 14. Let's check that out. So let's say if it was 10 by 14. Um, if these are to be similar, then I should get the uh, same scale factor um, for both dimensions. So using the 3 and the 10, okay, that would give me a scale factor. I'm going to consider this as the old and this is the new. All right, and so the scale factor, here I'll just put this off to the side. We know that the scale factor is always new divided by old. Okay, so that would be 10 over 3. Okay, now looking at the other dimension, all right, these would be corresponding. So that would give me a scale factor um, of 14 over 5. Now neither one of these reduce, so like that's kind of the end of that. Uh, because these are different, that means these are not similar. Um, so the answer cannot be A. So let's erase that and start over. So instead of 10 and 14, um, I guess I should erase this as well. Got to erase all that mess, please. All right, so now we've got uh, 24 by 30. Okay. So new over old. So that would be 24 over 3. New over old. That would be 30 over 5. Now, 24 divided by 3 is 8. 30 divided by 5 is 6. So we are still not getting the same uh, scale factor. So it can't be B. All right, let's try the next one. OK, 12 by 20. So 12 over 3, OK, and that's going to be 4. And then 20 over 5. And that is also going to be 4. Ding, ding, ding. We got the same scale factor twice. So this could be, whoa, I moved my whole picture. Uh, anyway, this could be the dimensions of the canvas. Okay, it's multiple choice, so there's only one right answer. So I don't even have to check the next one. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Go ahead and click here in the red apple to watch the next video. Click in the green apple to subscribe. Or click the yellow apple for the full playlist.